Welcome to another festive episode of the Informing Choices Minipod. Here on the Informing Choices Minipod, within the context of such rapid and extensive global change, we're also exploring what futurists think Christmas might be like in 2040. Today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the podcast strategist and futurist Joanna Lenkova for this festive peek into the future. Joanna, firstly, Merry Christmas. How different might Christmas in 2040 be, do you think? Merry Christmas, Steve. Glad to be back on the podcast. Uh, well, firstly, I wanted to say that I really love the topic you have selected. Um, it's just as much fun to think about the future of Christmas as it is uh, to think about the future of childhood, uh, yeah. because I think both evoke a lot of positivity and hope. Um, looking at the trends that govern our reality today and thinking about the implications on the future, I would say that in 2040, we will most likely have um, a climate that has shifted substantially. So I was reading reports that the majority of UK, especially the southern part, is set to no longer see sub-zero temperatures and cold days. So that means no snow. And this made me think of two things. First, we could put a nostalgic spin on it and maybe celebrate Christmas by having virtual visits to the past where uh, we would look at and, and actually experience white Christmases um, as well as family gathered around the fire. But perhaps we could also, you know, start creating our own new Christmas traditions that are more relevant uh, to the times and the environments that we live in. And I can't help but wonder what the new Christmas songs would sound like, you know. That's, it's, it's funny you say that. I was only saying the other day when we started to hear Christmas songs on the radio, there are no good new Christmas songs. <laughs> They're all from the 70s and 80s. So what else do you think might, uh, you know, we might be, might be seeing? I love that idea of creating new traditions and, and maybe um, using or, or taking virtual visits back to the past. Where else do you think we might go? So I think... Of course, we're right now like in the midst of the metaverse hype. We talk so much about the metaverse. So just further exploring what you know Christmas in 2040 would look like makes me think that definitely we can't miss the metaverse. Uh, so you know we should consider a virtual edition. And that gives us so many possibilities. So we could relive our childhood memories. You, we can be in Lapland, um, we can, you know, help out in Santa's workshops and all of this to really transport us to an experience that is a little more magical and a little more special. Um, and perhaps reminding us of our own family traditions and, and keeping us connected to our ancestors. And I think at the same time, what we're seeing, obviously with, again, connected to the environment, I would imagine that we would be putting a lot of efforts uh, into preservation of the environment. So this could see us planting Christmas trees versus cutting them. And perhaps Christmas could become an even bigger occasion to spread love and kindness to people and the environment. That's lovely. I really love that idea of uh, kind of using Christmas maybe to broaden its appeal but um, does does that though kind of take a step back from the religious significance at the point that it's broadening or, or do you think those two might come together you know um I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's one of the other things that i was thinking about and actually researching i think christmas is a lot more than just a religious holiday but it is also worth looking into what demographics would look like in 2040. So on one hand, we have um, an evolving family structure and dynamics, which, you know, looking positively at that, that would bring so much more richness to the traditions and, and a new spin. And I believe that we would continue to build and extend the Christmas that, you know, would stretch way beyond just Christianity. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the religious profile of the world is, is actually changing and is changing quite rapidly. So these changes are mainly driven by um, fertility rates, uh, by people switching faith or the size of youth in different nations and religious societies. Um, and while Christians are set to remain the largest religious group, Islam is actually growing faster than any other major religion. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that Christmas will be adopted as a holiday celebrating family togetherness and kindness. And I really look forward to the fusion of traditions and little rituals of kindness that could arise because of the diversity in the world. 
I'm, 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 I'm not about to suggest a complete lack of faith, but almost a, a no faith Christmas that celebrates faith in a much broader sense may be the future that you're talking about there. Yes, I'm hopeful that, you know, we can reach out beyond religious beliefs and and really believe in kindness and in family and in supporting each other and being kind to people, to planet. And of course, I think we see a lot of charity work and a lot of kindness and love spread around Christmas. Of course, I'm hopeful this is going to happen throughout, um, <laughs> but it's a good opportunity. It's a good platform to um, to think in that direction for the future. And just finally, the last thing that I want to pick up on you, and, and you kind of refer to it a couple of times, and, and that sustainability, obviously with COP26 recently, it's such a big issue, isn't it? So I'm imagining here that uh, almost everything we might buy at Christmas will have been produced with its disposal in mind to create either reuse, easy recycling, to help the sustainable future. What else might you imagine um, around sustainability at Christmas we might see in 20 years' you know, time? You know, I was thinking about that as well, and perhaps it's maybe things will change and maybe it will be more about acts of kindness that are gifted to, to people and to the environment. Of course, we will remain giving each other gifts. I think this is, it's an act of love and it's an important part of kind of relationships. Well, Joanna, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts about uh, Christmas in 2040. It, it, you, you triggered lots of thoughts in my mind as well uh, about how uh, the, the religious festival might become a much broader festival. But my sense is that really what you're talking about there is a, a, a peak for the future of humanity to use that celebration as a platform for that. Absolutely. I'm really hopeful that this is the direction that we're taking the future. Well, Joanna, once again, thank you so much for your time. And thank you, everyone, for listening. You can learn more about Joanna and her work by connecting via the links in the podcast description. In the meantime, do let your friends and colleagues know about the Informing Choices Minipod and season's greetings to you all. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Steve. Merry Christmas, all. <laughs>